Hello everybody and welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi. My name is Busari Malayo and I'm a registered nurse. On this channel, I film content related to nursing and healthcare. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the nursing care plan for hypertension. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also on the bell icon so you don't miss out when I drop another amazing video. With that being said, let's get into the topic for today. First, let's do a brief review or a brief revision of what hypertension is. Hypertension is a medical terminology simply used to describe high blood pressure. The table by the American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association that classifies adult blood pressures. The normal is classified as less than 120 for systolic and less than 80 for the diastolic. Now, in Nigeria, usually we consider 120 80 millimeters of mercury to be normal. Then, pre hypertension or elevated is classified as 120 to 129 for the systolic blood pressure and less than 80 for the diastolic blood pressure. We have stage 1 hypertension classified as 130 to 139 systolic blood pressure or 80 to 89 diastolic blood pressure. Stage 2 hypertension is classified as 140 or higher systolic blood pressure and 90 or higher for diastolic blood pressure. Why hypertensive crisis is classified as a systolic blood pressure higher than 180 millimeters of mercury and or a diastolic blood pressure higher than 120 millimeters of mercury. Next, let's get familiar with the diagnosis that we're going to be working on today. We are working on three nursing diagnoses today. The first one is decreased activity tolerance related to imbalance in oxygen demand and supply, evidenced by verbal reports of fatigue. Now, the issue with hypertension is that there is always peripheral resistance in blood vessels. So, this would actually limit the amount of oxygen that is reaching the tissues and organs in the body, hence the fatigue. Second nursing diagnosis is deficient knowledge related to information misinterpretation evidenced by statements of misconception. This is very very common around among Africans, especially older adults, because they believe that hypertension comes just when you think a lot. They don't know so many causes and risk factors of hypertension. Third nursing diagnosis is risk for decreased cardiac output related to increased vascular resistance. Now that we're familiar with the nursing diagnosis that we're working on, let's get into the objectives, nursing intervention, scientific rationale, as well as the evaluation for each of those diagnoses. So the objective for the first nursing diagnosis is that patients will maintain blood pressure within individually acceptable range after nursing intervention. So the first nursing intervention is to provide a calm, restful surroundings by minimizing your environmental activity and noise. You can minimize the amount of visitors that will come in, the time visitors would spend just to make sure that everywhere is calm. You reduce the noise in the area, probably there are music um, sounds coming from surroundings. You can tell people to reduce the volume of their stereo boxes and the rationale is that it helps to lessen sympathetic stimulation and it will promote relaxation next is to schedule uninterrupted rest periods and assist the patient with self-care activities when needed and the rationale is that this will lessen the physical stress and tension that the patient will have to go through that may affect the blood pressure next intervention is that you place the patient in a comfortable position such as semi fowler's position and the rationale is that this would decrease decrease discomfort and this may also reduce sympathetic stimulation because the patient will not be stressed finally you monitor the response to medications to control blood pressure and this is because you want to detect any side effect or drug interactions that the patients may be experiencing so that you can report it as at when due. The evaluation is that patients maintain blood pressure within individually acceptable range after nursing intervention. Note that the evaluation is now in past tense compared to the objective that wasn't in past tense because you have done everything and you want to show that what you did was effective. The objective for the second nursing diagnosis is that the patient will verbalize understanding of the disease process and treatment regimen after nursing intervention. So the first intervention is to explain hypertension 
appropriate blood pressure limits and dangers of an uncontrolled blood pressure to the patient. And the rationale is that once you do this, you are providing the basis for understanding the elevation of blood pressure and frequently used medical terms that has probably been used in explaining to the patient that he or she may not understand. Next, you assist the patient in identifying modifiable risk factors. And the rationale is that once you let the patient know that there are some risk factors that can actually be modified to prevent the increased blood pressure or complications of hypertension, the patient will be encouraged to adopt necessary lifestyle modifications. The next intervention is to reinforce the importance of adhering to treatment regimen as well as coming for follow-up appointment. The rationale is that once the patient understands the consequences of inadequate intervention or not maintaining their health, they are more likely to comply with treatment regimen and coming for follow-up appointment. Lastly, you explain prescribed medications alongside their rationale, like why they should be taking the dose, possible adverse effects they may experience when taking those drugs. And the rationale is that once a patient has adequate information and understanding of this drug, they would cooperate with the treatment plan or be compliant with their medications. Here is our evaluation again coming in past tense that patients verbalize understanding of disease process and treatment regimen after nursing intervention. The objective for the third nursing diagnosis is that the patients will demonstrate stable cardiac rhythm and rate within the patient's normal range throughout the period of nursing intervention. Oh, sorry, there's a mistake here. I actually meant to put throughout the period of hospitalization, not nursing intervention. The first intervention is to note the presence and quality of central and peripheral pulse. The scientific rationale is that when the pulse in the legs and feet of the patient diminishes or reduces, this may be an effect of vasoconstriction. Next intervention is to observe the skin color of the patient, moisture of the skin, temperature and capillary refill time. And the rationale is that things like pallor, cool and moist skin, then delayed capillary refill time may also point towards vasoconstriction. Next is to note dependence and general edema signs on the patient. And the rationale is that edema may indicate heart failure or renal failure or vascular impairment in the patient. Finally, you have to administer medications as indicated. And the rationale is that anti-hypertensive medications generally, the way they are designed, they help to maintain a stable blood pressure and prevent complications of hypertension. Now our evaluation, which is also being reflected in past tense, is that patients demonstrated stable cardiac rhythm and rates within patients' normal range throughout the period of hospitalization. Please note, I meant hospitalization and not nursing intervention. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something new. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video if you really learned something and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.